asleep in the car. He had very little money. It was cold outside. It was winter. But he was inside. He was inside his apartment. Right now he was okay because he was inside his apartment. But next month he would not be okay. Next month he would be outside his apartment. He had lost his job. He couldn't pay his rent. He had called his landlord. He asked his landlord if he could stay an extra month for free. His landlord said no. His landlord said, If you can't pay the rent, you must go. Where could he go? He would sleep in his car. But a car is a cold place in the winter. He was very sad. No help from co-worker. Patty needed help with her computer. She asked a co-worker to help her. Patty said she would treat her co-worker to a nice dinner. Her co-worker asked, What kind of dinner? Patty said a nice Chinese dinner. Her co-worker said that sounded good. She would come over to Patty's apartment at 7 o'clock. Patty went home after work. She made a delicious Chinese dinner. But her co-worker didn't show up at 7 o'clock. Her co-worker didn't show up at 7.30. Her co-worker didn't call. Patty called her co-worker. No one answered. At 9.30, Patty went to bed. The phone rang. It was her co-worker. Patty didn't answer the phone. Tomorrow she would ask someone else to help her. A Famous Painter His dad was reading one section of the newspaper. His mom was reading another section of the newspaper. His older sister was reading another section of the newspaper. He had the comics section of the newspaper. That was the best part of the newspaper. He didn't understand the words. He wasn't able to read. But he liked the comics. He liked the drawings. They were all different. All the animals were different. All the people were different. All the drawings were black and white. He colored the drawings with his crayons. He showed the colored drawings to his mom. She liked them. Those are beautiful colors, his mom said. Some day you will be a famous painter. A Stranger in the Neighborhood She looked at the man. He was walking on the sidewalk. She did not know this man. He was a stranger. She did not trust this man. He did not live in this neighborhood. She was driving her car slowly. She was almost home. She drove past the man. She watched him in her rear-view mirror. He stopped walking on the sidewalk. He walked up her neighbor's driveway. A car was in the driveway. He walked up to the driver's door. He stopped. Then he walked back to the sidewalk. What was he doing, she wondered. Then she realized what he was doing. He was testing the driver's door. He was testing it to see if it was locked. She called the police. Where's my money? Jack was angry. 
Joe owed him money. Joe owed him one hundred dollars. Joe had borrowed one hundred dollars a month ago. He had borrowed the money thirty days ago. He said he would pay Jack back the next week. He said that he would pay Jack back in seven days. But he didn't pay Jack back in seven days. He didn't pay Jack back in fourteen days or twenty-one days or twenty-eight days. After thirty days, Jack was very angry. He called up Joe. You owe me one hundred dollars. You borrowed one hundred dollars from me thirty days ago. Where is my money? I want my money now, Jack said. Joe said, Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. I borrowed one hundred dollars from you. I owe you one hundred dollars. Can I pay you back next week? Flying Saucer His dad liked to fly balloons. His dad bought big balloons and filled them with helium. Helium is a gas. It is a gas that makes balloons float into the sky. One day his dad brought home a new balloon. He took it out of the box. He took it outside. He tied the balloon to spikes with ropes. The spikes were in the ground. The ropes and spikes kept the balloon on the ground. He filled the balloon with helium. He asked Junior what the new balloon looked like. It looks like a flying saucer, said Junior. It looks like a real flying saucer. Is there an alien inside? A beautiful jacket. He loved his new jacket. It was his favorite jacket. He loved the color. It was tan. He loved the weight. It was medium weight. It was not too light. It was not too heavy. He loved the fit. It fit him well. He put the jacket on. He looked at the jacket in the mirror. It looked good. What a good-looking jacket, he thought. He went to the doctor's office. The office was warm. He took his jacket off. He put it on the chair next to him. A nurse called his name. He stood up. He went to the examination room. He forgot that his jacket was on the chair. But it wasn't on the chair for long. Another patient took it home. Fun at the beach He was bored. He wanted to do something fun. He wanted to do something fun with his friend. He called up his friend. I'm bored. Let's do something fun, he said. His friend said, That sounds great. I'm glad you called. I'm bored too. What do you want to do? He said he wanted to go to the beach. His friend said that sounded great. He picked up his friend in his car. They went to the beach. They threw a frisbee to each other. They swam in the ocean. They built a big sand castle. They watched the sailboats. They watched the seagulls. He drove his friend home. That was fun. Let's do it again sometime, his friend said. Circus Clowns She went to the circus with her parents. She was excited. She had never been to a circus. 
There were many clowns at the circus. She liked the clowns. They had funny faces. They had big red noses. They wore funny hats. They wore big shoes. Their shoes were much bigger than her dad's shoes. They were twice as big as her dad's shoes. The clowns had loud horns. They honked their horns at each other. They didn't talk. They used their horns to talk. Honk, honk. She laughed at the clowns. They were so funny. They made her laugh. She told her dad, Daddy, guess what? When I grow up, I'm going to be a clown. Too much stuff. He had to clean out his apartment. There was so much to clean out. He had hundreds of books. What was he going to do with them? He couldn't keep all of them. He was moving to a smaller apartment. There was no room for all his books in his new apartment. There was no room for his bicycle. What was he going to do with his bicycle? He had a big TV. The TV was too big for his new apartment. What was he going to do with his big TV? He called up his brother. Do you want my books, my bike, and my TV? he asked. His brother said, You should have a yard sale. The Swine Flu It was September. People were getting sick all over the world. They were getting sick from the flu. The flu was called H1N1. Some people called it swine flu. The swine farmers did not like that. They said, Stop calling it swine flu. Swine don't have the flu. You can't get the flu from eating swine. Swine are also called pigs. We get bacon and ham from pigs. We get pork from pigs. But we don't get the flu from pigs. We get the flu from a virus. The H1N1 virus was making everyone sick. In October they distributed a new vaccine. The new vaccine protected most people from the virus. The people were happy. The swine farmers were happy. Get your flu shot. It is flu season. You must be careful. It is very easy to catch the flu. You should wash your hands often. You should get a flu shot. A flu shot will help protect you. But there is a problem with a flu shot. The problem is the needle. The nurse will stick a needle in your arm. Your arm will be sore for a day, maybe two days. Nobody likes to have a sore arm. But which is worse, a sore arm or a sore body? A sore body is worse than a sore arm. Do you want your arm to hurt, or do you want your whole body to hurt? Your body will hurt for a week. Maybe it will hurt for two weeks. Always eating. Jane called Lisa. Lisa said she was eating. She was eating dinner. Lisa asked Jane to call her back. Jane said she would call Lisa back. She called Lisa back the next day. Lisa said she was eating. She was eating lunch. Lisa asked Jane to call her back. 
Jane said she would call Lisa back. She called Lisa back the next day. Lisa said she was eating. She was eating breakfast. Lisa asked Jane to call her back. Jane said she would call Lisa back. The next day Jane called Lisa back. Lisa was eating. She was eating a snack. Lisa asked Jane to call her back. Jane said, No, you call me back. You call me back when you aren't eating. Feed the pigeons. She liked to feed popcorn to the pigeons. The pigeons liked to eat her popcorn. She put popcorn in her hand. A pigeon ate the popcorn in her hand. She put popcorn on her shoulder. A pigeon ate the popcorn on her shoulder. She put popcorn in her hair. A pigeon ate the popcorn in her hair. She sat down on a bench. It was a wooden bench in the park. She put popcorn all over the bench. She put popcorn all over her clothes. She put popcorn on her head. She put popcorn on her lap. Many pigeons landed on the bench. Many pigeons landed on her. Nobody could see her. Nobody could see the bench. Where did she go? Debbie was in the first grade. Her brother Tommy was in the second grade. They lived in Florida. They lived in a small town in Florida. They walked to school in the morning. They walked home from school in the afternoon. On Monday, Debbie and Tommy were walking home. They were walking with a couple of Tommy's friends. Tommy told his friends that Debbie still sucked her thumb. She still sucks her thumb, he said. His friends laughed. Debbie started to cry. She ran away from Tommy and his friends. When Tommy got home, his mom asked, Where's Debbie? Tommy said he didn't know. He thought she was already home. No, she's not home, his mom said. She called the neighbors. Then she called the police. A bad babysitter. She was a babysitter in her home. She took care of ten little children. They were not her little children. They were the sons and daughters of other people. She did not have a son. She did not have a daughter. She was not a mother. She was a babysitter. The children were one to four years old. She babysat them all. She kept them in her house all day. They all stayed in her living room. She gave them toys to play with. She gave them books to look at. She gave them pillows and blankets. Some kids played with the toys. Some kids looked at the books. Some kids slept. She usually didn't watch the kids. She usually watched the TV. Where's my flu shot? Flu shots cost $20 at the drugstore. Only a few people are buying the flu shots. There are no long lines. No one is waiting in line. If you want the flu shot, pay $20. You don't have to wait in line. You can get the flu shot immediately. The mayor announced free flu shots. 
He said, We will give free flu shots to everyone. Come to the library on Saturday. On Saturday, 2,000 people went to the library. They stood in line for four hours. After four hours, there were no more free flu shots. They ran out of free flu shots. The drugstore still has many flu shots. But the flu shots at the drugstore aren't free. They cost $20. I'll call you at 7 o'clock. Carol and Mary are friends. Carol said she would call Mary at 7 o'clock. Carol didn't call at 7. She didn't call at 7.15. She finally called at 7.30. She apologized for calling so late. Mary said it was okay. But it wasn't okay. Mary didn't like people to lie. This wasn't the first time Carol had lied. This was the fourth time Carol had lied. Mary did not trust Carol. Carol would never be her best friend. A best friend tells the truth. A best friend doesn't lie. A best friend does not call late. A best friend does not arrive late. A best friend is always on time. They took a nap. It was late at night. The plane flew through the air. It flew through the air very fast. It flew through the air at 500 miles per hour. 500 miles per hour is very fast. A train does not go 500 miles per hour. A bus does not go 500 miles per hour. A ship does not go 500 miles per hour. Both the pilot and co-pilot were very sleepy. They both fell asleep. The plane flew past the city. Then the pilot and co-pilot woke up. They turned the plane around. They went back to the city. They landed at the airport. Their boss was angry. He asked, Why is the plane late? Did you two fall asleep? They both said, Of course not, boss. A mean boyfriend. She was thinking about her boyfriend. Why did she stay with him? Why didn't she leave him? She didn't trust him. He said that he loved her. But he was mean to her. He said bad things. He said she was too fat. He said she should eat less. He did bad things. He gave her a cheap card from the 99 cent store for her birthday. He gave her a bag of apples for Christmas. Then he ate all the apples. He said things that made her cry. He did things that made her cry. Then he said he was sorry. He always said he was sorry. She wanted to leave him. She wanted to find another boyfriend. But she didn't leave him. She loved him too much. Who's there? He was talking on the phone. The phone was on the table in the dining room. He was talking to his friend. They were talking about the weather. It was raining. There was a knock on his door. Someone was knocking on his door. He went to the door. He opened the door. No one was there. He went back to the phone. 
The doorbell rang. Someone was ringing his doorbell. He went to the door. He opened the door. No one was there. He went back to the phone. There was another knock on his door. He kept talking. The doorbell rang again. He kept talking. Fool me once, shame on you, he thought. Fool me twice, shame on me, he thought. No flu shot for her. She was a nurse. It was flu season. But she didn't get a flu shot. All the other nurses got a flu shot. All the doctors got a flu shot. But she didn't get a flu shot. Flu shots made her sick. She got a flu shot when she was a little girl. The flu shot made her very sick. She spent a week in the hospital. Then she came home. She spent three weeks in bed. She was sick for about a month. After that, no more flu shots for her. She never got a flu shot again. She never got the flu either. I never get a flu shot, but I never get the flu, she told her friend. The Pistol Don had a pistol. It was a small pistol. He offered it to his brother Tony. Tony looked at the pistol. It was a beautiful pistol. It was black. It had a silver trigger. Tony put his finger on the silver trigger. He put the pistol in his pocket. He took it out of his pocket. He walked outside. He saw a bird on a wire. He aimed the pistol at the bird. He pulled the trigger. He said, If the gun was loaded, I would have killed the bird. Don said, I'm glad it wasn't loaded. You shouldn't kill birds. Tony thanked Don for the pistol. I like this pistol. Thank you, Tony said. He took the pistol home with him. Ten push-ups Up, down, up, down. Billy was doing push-ups. His arms were bent. His palms were on the ground. His toes were on the ground. His back was straight. His belly was close to the ground. His nose was close to the ground. Then he straightened his arms. Now his nose was almost two feet above the ground. His back was straight. His arms were straight. His head was higher than his feet. His feet were lower than his head. That was one push-up. Then Billy bent his arms. His nose and belly almost touched the ground. Then he straightened his arms again. That was another push-up. Billy did eight more push-ups. He did ten push-ups. He did ten push-ups every day. An Ear Problem His ear had a tiny air bubble in it. It bothered him a lot. He could hear an echo when he talked. The echo bothered him a lot. He tried to get rid of the tiny air bubble. He squeezed his nose, closed his mouth, and blew really hard. Nothing happened. He shook his head like a wet dog. Nothing happened. He stood on his head for ten minutes. Nothing happened. He stuck his finger deep in his ear and pulled it out quickly. Nothing happened. 
The doctor gave him nose drops. Nothing happened. The doctor gave him ear drops. Nothing happened. He took a walk on a winter day. He slipped on the ice. He hit his head on the sidewalk. The bubble was gone. The baseball game. Dad took his son Chris to the baseball game. The Los Angeles Dodgers were playing the San Francisco Giants. The Dodgers were the home team. The Giants were the visiting team. Dad and Chris walked into Dodger Stadium. Many people were there. Most of them wanted to see the Dodgers win. They wanted to see the Giants lose. Dad and Chris found their seats. They sat down. The game had already started. Chris told his dad he was hungry. His dad bought two bags of peanuts for Chris. He bought two hot dogs for Chris. He bought a big soda for Chris. A foul ball came their way. People dived for the foul ball. They knocked Chris's soda over. His dad bought him another soda. Visit the park. Nancy took her daughter Donna to the park. The park had lots of trees. It had lots of squirrels and birds. The squirrels ran up and down the trees. The squirrels chased one another. The squirrels played with one another. The birds flew around. They flew down to the ground. They flew up into the trees. The squirrels and birds were good neighbors. Nancy sat down on a bench. She took a magazine out of her purse. She turned the pages of the magazine. Donna ran over to a squirrel. She tried to catch the squirrel. Then she tried to catch a bird. Donna chased the squirrels and birds. She never caught one squirrel. She never caught one bird. But she had a lot of fun.